Um, the Surgeon General is calling for this warning label <coughs> on social media platforms. The President and the Administration have been clear you support addressing mental health tied to social media, especially among young people. But does the President support this action? Does he support a warning label like this as a means to address this crisis? And to your to your question, Mayor Boos, you're, you're absolutely right. It is there's a mental health issue. Our young people are experiencing an unprecedented unprecedented mental health mental health crisis that's what we're seeing and it is there is undeniable evidence of this that social media uh, and other other online platforms are contributing to this uh, it is exactly why the president and the first lady this administration has done everything that they can to to really tackle the mental health crisis uh, as part of let's not forget it's part of their key agenda as we talk about the unity agenda because we believe that is something that could bring both sides together because we're seeing this in red states and in blue states. And so we have invested resources to deal with this issue, establishing the new center of excellence on social media and mental wellness, launching the 988 suicide and crisis life lifeline. I just talked about that as it relates to LGBTQ plus youth and launching a new interagency tax force on kids online health and safety. So there is a mental health crisis. The Surgeon General's announcement is about reminding parents and also about reminding kids the risk of using uh, of using social media. So we were going to continue to focus on that. Obviously, the Surgeon General is going to continue to uh, focus on that as the country's doctor, uh, physician. So I think that's important that he'll continue to do that work. And we're going to continue to look at a range of actions as, as the Surgeon General is trying to do as well. But does the President support a warning label like that? I mean, look, what I would say is that we want to, as I stated in the unity agenda, we want to see a bipartisan approach in dealing with uh, uh, dealing with this issue, right? On how to hold social media companies accountable. Uh, the Surgeon General made this announcement, reminding parents, reminding kids what's at stake here, reminding, uh, understanding that mental health is a is a crisis. There is a crisis here in America, but we believe that the way to move forward, the best way to move forward, as we say, you know, there's always going to be policies that we're going to introduce from here, but the best way to move forward is to deal with this in a bipartisan way. We believe that this this is why we included it in the unity agenda. This is going to be a continuation of what this president does in his uh, in his term here is let's deal with this in a bipartisan way because it matters. It's not about red states or blue states. And just a, a scheduling question. Yeah, sure. The White House schedule has the president departing for Rehoboth tomorrow and then flying to Camp David on Thursday evening. Is that it for the next week? I mean, should we expect the president to hold any kind of public events before the debate I, this week? I will say stay tuned. Uh, the president's, it's, it's in, you know, we're still always working through the president's schedule, as you know, sitting in these seats, you know how, uh, and covering the president, you know how that is. We sometimes, uh, things pop up on the schedule very, very quickly. Uh, and so we always share that with you all. Uh, I don't have anything to preview or to announce at this time, but uh, certainly stay tuned. Uh, and when we have something to share, we certainly will.